It's been nearly one week since early voting began in Georgia's presidential preference primary. I'm Terry Gilliam in Valdosta. A look at how early voting is going here in Lowndes County and what's new for this year's election. Believe it or not, I actually do like doing the early voting. Pat Rozier has lived in Valdosta for all her life and has been a part of almost every election as an early voter. Every vote is important. I got registered to vote when I was 18 in high school and I've been voting ever since. I've only missed one election. While it was a slow day at the Board of Elections office in Lowndes County, early voting is underway for the Georgia presidential primary. I talked to Darian Ratliff, who's Georgia's youngest certified election official. We typically don't have too much problems going on. Get your vo voter card, put in the touch screen, and get your ballot, scan it, and leave is very quick. Now, both parties are pitching in to help get voters free rides to the polls. Uh, I think it's great because we do have a lot of people that transportation is an issue for them to get here to vote. Helping with the transportation isn't the only new thing heading into 2024's election. Now, most people are registered automatically in the state of Georgia unless they opt out at the DMV. Either way, you're gonna get your vote no matter what. But if you want the experience of coming in and actually just even playing with the equipment, you can. And unlike some other counties, Lowndes County is participating in the state's optional Sunday voting. It's something Rozier is happy to be a part of. You have to go vote. Optional Sunday voting will be taking place again next week here in Lowndes County, and early voters tell me that free rides to the polls is an efficient way to get their votes counted. In Valdosta, Terry Gilliam, ABC 27.